prosecutors say Richardson and her mother were obsessed with her appearance. And Jeanette Levy is live in Warren County with details on what the jury heard and saw mm -hmm. on day one. And Jeanette. Well, Paula, prosecutors say that Skylar Richardson never intended to have or keep this baby, but her attorneys say that she was simply a scared teenager who gave birth to a stillborn baby in the middle of the night and then was coerced into making false statements about what happened. When Skylar Richardson confirmed her suspicions that she was pregnant in April of 2017, her doctor, who didn't want to be photographed, said she was upset. She said, I can't have a baby, I'm going to college. Dr. Andrew said the baby had a heartbeat and he discussed options with Richardson. And when you say she wouldn't have to raise the baby, I think you said it, but what did you mean? Well, that people would line up to raise that baby. Richardson said the baby was stillborn when she delivered her days later. She buried it in the backyard of her Carlisle home. Does malnutrition or women with eating disorders, does that increase the odds of a stillborn in your practice and experience? Yes. Richardson suffered from eating disorders. Prosecutors say her mother, Kim, was obsessed with her daughter's appearance and weight. So when Kim Richardson confronted her daughter about possibly being pregnant. In a text message exchange, which you will see, Kim told Brooke that her life would be over and that she would have no future if she were in fact pregnant. Assistant Prosecutor Steve Knippen read from a text message that Skylar Richardson sent to her mom hours after giving birth. My belly is back, OMG, and I'm never, ever, ever, ever letting it get like this again. You're about to see me looking freaking better than before, OMG. Jurors saw photos of the area where sheriff's deputies found the baby that Richardson named Annabelle buried in a shallow grave. So the prosecutor's discussion about conceal and destroy, she buried her daughter and marked the grave and put flowers on top of it. She didn't throw her in a trash can. She didn't throw her in a dumpster. Now, jurors also saw photographs today of the bedroom where Skylar Richardson had that baby. Her defense attorneys say she actually had the baby in the bathroom, in the toilet. That's going to be uh, a bone of contention in this trial. Testimony will resume tomorrow morning and we'll, of course, be here for it. Paula, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Anjanette. And you can watch the trial streaming live on local12.com.